Welcome to Claret Plus Octopri. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a basic Claret Plus Octopri setup. This is with the Claret Plus Octopri connected to an audio interface and the Claret Plus Octopri as clock leader. For this, you'll need one optical toss link cable, available from all good retailers. Setup is simple. Making sure your audio interface is connected to your computer and your Claret Plus Octopri is switched on. Take the optical cable and connect it between the Claret Plus Octopri's ADAT out and the audio interface's ADAT in. You can adjust the sample rate of your Claret Plus Octopri on the front panel. Set the audio interface's clock source to ADAT. With the Focusrite Claret Plus 8 Pre and other Focusrite audio interfaces, we can set the clock source using our dedicated app, Focusrite Control. If you're using a different audio interface with different control software, please refer to the other manufacturer's documentation for guidance. Open Focusrite Control. Select the cog wheel to open device settings. Now, open the clock source menu and set this to ADAP. Make sure the sample rate for both devices are the same. You can adjust the sample rate of your Claret Plus Octopri on the front panel. Now that you've matched sample rates across your Claret Plus Octopri and audio interface, it's time to match this sample rate within your door for recording. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be setting my sample rate for recording in Logic Pro. You may be using a different door, in which case, please refer to the other manufacturer's documentation for guidance. Simply open the door's audio preferences and set the sample rate to your chosen sample rate. Because I set the device's sample rate to 48 kilohertz, I'll be doing the same here. You are now ready to record with your Claret Plus Octopri and audio interface. For input mapping, please refer to your audio interface's documentation for guidance. If you're using a Focusrite audio interface, please use the link in the description below to download your user guides, where you'll find all of your input mapping information.